Oh, right, guys. Today we're going to be reacting to pork shoulder German Franz Franzconian style bread roll dumplings as well. Thank you so much for the support. We're going to react to this video that was recommended in the Discord. We're heading to 10,000 subscribers, guys. Do not forget to um, subscribe to my channel. Now, you, a lot of you guys, I see like 90% of you guys are not subscribed to my channel. Help me reach my goal. Let's just jump in here. Let's go. Something very unique. Uh and quite unusual. Oh, the guy's a passport bro, huh? <laughs> it is in a way sad because Why? Uh, I'm making a dish which is from the Franconian area of Bavaria in southern Germany mm. in the honor of my uh, late best friend Michael who passed away in January. Very sad uh, story for all of us, friends, family, of course. And um, yes. nah. so this video had, went into cooperation with a few people, actually. Number one, uh, of course, the family I asked, uh, what did he like? What was his favorite dish? I never knew that, quite frankly, as many times that I ate with him uh, from Berlin to Bali, but I have not known what was his favorite dish. And one of the favorite dishes that uh, his family shared with me is a schäufele, which is a very, very uh, uh, popular, popular dish for Sunday in Franconia, which is a very beautiful area. Uh, and here you see my t-shirt today, it's a Schwabach. Michael Schwabach. came from Schwabach, which is a nice city, about 44,000 souls, uh, south Damn, of Nuremberg. And for any of you that know Bavaria, Franconia um, is absolutely beautiful. Uh, the second person helped me to get this meat is Jack from our Bavarian restaurant here in Phuket. And uh, it took me like six weeks to get it because it is not a common cut to get here, not even in a German restaurant. And, uh, and the third would be also a very good friend of Michael's, which is Thomas Obst and uh, his wife, Kerstin, who are managing a beautiful little restaurant, uh, Gasthof, guest house, a small hotel in the Algoi region, which uh, equally is absolutely brilliant. So let's go and, and start cooking here because this is not a dish that's gonna be done in 30 minutes. Let's start with the uh, schäufele. Now, there it is. Mm -hmm. uh, I had a lot of people done some work for me already. I have to give some shout out here to the Germans, man. You guys really, when it comes down to meat, you guys really mean it. You guys literally mean it. Look at the piece of that meat, man. It's like this thick. It's like this thick. Hold on. Like this. Wow. This, this wide. is about four this kilos. Thick. This is bone in, shoulder blade. It has to be cut. The fat has to be cut. Uh, into diamond shaped little squares, ah. which I don't know if you can see, but here it is. Ingredients as we have here celery cut in chunks. I used uh, baby carrots because it's easier than cutting carrots and leeks. Uh, here they go again. They say Swiss the chef and his leeks, always leeks. Quartered onions, I took uh, some red onions and white onions, about a half a liter of um, beef stock. Usually it requires vegetable stock, but I am going to do some different things than you may maybe do. And we have here uh, caraway, kümmel, very, very important. Nah, that's a um, kümmel. Uh, that's have... very hard to, it's very hard to cook. If you don't know what you're doing, adding it is going to be hard, man. I tried to cook with kümmel, but oh man, my goodness, it's, mm. I don't know how to use it. So I thank God for this kind of video because, man, if it was... For my own taste, I would not figure out what, how to use it. Fresh peppercorns for the sauce. We have mixed uh, seasoning, salt, pepper, and some tomato paste, rosemary, and tarragon. Estragon and rosemary. Rosemary? Mm. Yeah, it says rosemary. Now, there you go, see. And of Rose. course, very important ingredient from um, Franconia. Krombacher Dunkel. Yes, okay. And I took another beer just because I want to mix them, which is also <laughs> mix not it all traditional, together. but why the hell not? Mix everything this is together. A, it's paid. <laughs> this is a Keller beer, uh, Kaiser Dome. Okay. So we're actually lucky here in Thailand that we find these things. So let's cooking. It's all ready. And all we need to do now is the beginning. And that, for that reason, what you need to do now is to put quite a lot of salt on the top here on the Schwarte, which is this beautiful fat here. I love it. Put salt, put salt, put salt. Be generous, doesn't matter. You can put quite a lot. Put pepper, 
Hey, you, all right. You're throwing all that pepper away. And now away. we're gonna go and rub pepper and salt on the sides as well. Here on the back, sorry. Just take it in your hands. And now the caraway. Apply as much as you want. I am a fan of this spice. Next step. It's also not very traditional, but I put a little bit of oil in my Dutch oven here. Mm. Okay. Not too much. And then I'm going to add this wonderful meat right inside. And I'm gonna throw, <laughs> throw, nice. Oops. A little <laughs> German sofrito. Sorry. Uh, all around the meat. Okay, that's how this looks. I almost forgot to put the onions, I'm sorry. <laughs> now, this we're gonna go and sear for a short time in the oven until the, the vegetable and the and meat get some color, a little everything. bit of color, and then we're gonna add some of our stock and also the beer. Let's put it in at 150 heat, lower and upper, not covered. We let this cook for about an hour, just to get Fire some hot. of the fat out. And now is the time where we're gonna start. Do not cover the meat with broth. With the broth, all right. So I would say 250 milliliters is enough. We now take our tarragon, disperse it around. The same with the rosemary as well as the peppercorns. There you go. And now we're gonna add the beer. See, you wow. can hear the sizzling. sizzling. The sizzling, right? Wow. All right. I give a shot of Jägermeister. <laughs> Unusual. Okay, now we're gonna return it to the oven, put it at 160 and cook it as long as needed. Do not forget, you have to always check it. If you have to add more broth or beer, you go right ahead. I will do that while I'm cooking it. Oh. Here we go. Pause. So first he cooked it for a couple minutes, let it cook a little bit, take it out, put the beer, and that way you can just get some of that flavor and put it back. Okay. And My pause God, again. That, folks. And now what we're gonna do is it sizzles inside. We are going to push it back in. Again. And we're gonna increase the heat. Okay. to 220 right. and then a really nice crust will form here is our wonderful schäufele now that we have achieved our goal we put wow. it on a tray look at that and leave wow. it there for a while because now we have to proceed and that make the sauce. is very what nice and cooked do now here wow. is i'm just going to ladle it in all this wonderful sauce inside my strainer Okay, here is our sauce. I put a bit of sauce strengthener in there to thicken the sauce yeah, a little let's bit. Go, As a I love this dish, part. I love this part. I have red roll. I'm a top. weird guy, but when it comes down to gravy, I don't know why, but I love when, you, when they make the gravy. Dumplings, and what we're gonna do with those is simply wait until the water boils. A little more fun And then too, we're gonna right. put them into salt water, and if they go drop down, wait until they float, and once they float, they're ready. Okay, mm. our soy filet looks ready. Put it out of the pot, wonderful crust. Mm. And then I turn it over. Mm -mm -mm. Here's the bone. And here, I'm going to cut some of this wow. brilliant, brilliant meat. Look how beautiful, look how beautiful. Wow. That's all gonna go on my lucky plate. Let me see how that tastes, again. Mm. <laughs> Danke, Michael, für die Idee. It's fantastic. Very lekker, huh? Mm. You feel the crunch? Wow. Absolutely brilliant. Thanks for watching. Um, hey, shout out to the guy, man. He did a great job. Quick, right to the point, clear instruction. Now, when it comes down to the oven, the first time you only leave it there for 10 to 15 minutes, let it be, get a little bit of crusty, put the beer on top of it and put it back. And then take it out for the second time put a little bit more broth or beer and put it back. I think that's what he did. I'll have to watch a couple more times, but this is amazing. Shout out to the guy. He went full passport bros and went to Thailand to get married. Interesting. But let me know what you guys see in the comment section below. I would love to hear your guys' opinion. And also, what kind of creamer did he use? This is not a creamer, right? He used like a broth 
Stratton powder. Um, do you guys prefer that, or do you guys prefer like the half and half or the or the other one? I don't remember. The sour cream, I think, was the other one. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I would love to hear you guys' opinion. I'm always reading you guys' comments. So I'll see you in the next one.